Hey guys, Heavy Arms 45 here. Today's the first day of Anime Blues Con. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do like I promised. I'm going to tell you all the top 10 universes in anime that I wouldn't mind being in. Starting off, of course, with number 10. Number 10. Pokemon. Now, I'm... I'm a Pokemon fan. I've been grinding in Pokemon ever since Pokemon Blue. But the whole thing about Pokemon is that it's a world where you can get so many different friends. Um, if I had to rate it technically, if I would probably pick Digimon over Pokemon. But the thing is... Digimon, you have to be one of the Digidestin, and not everyone can be one. With Pokemon, everyone has the ability to train their Pokemon in their own particular way. You know, you don't have to be, you could be one of the bug type trainers, you can be electric type. You can do a mixed bag, kind of like what everybody who plays the game does. Or, you know, you can be very specific in the way you play. It doesn't really matter. Pokemon is all about equality and being able to uh, play the game. And if you're lucky, you're able to make it to, to elite. I mean, go through the gems, become an elite four. I mean, fight the elite four, and possibly get the crown from someone else. But you still have the chance of doing that. Number nine. Accelerated world. Or SAO. Now, SAO, I said, but it would probably have to be sorted out online. Because Accelerate World can only happen with people that are teenagers. And as you know, I am too old to be a teenager. So, by this idea, sort of online would be a great place to be. Sure, it's like our regular universe, just years into the future and they have this nerve gear the nerve gear is really what caught my attention just like being in a world where you almost can't tell the difference between virtual and virtual reality and actual reality and so i would love to be around where like that's just the norm in a way you know and if if, if I was able to be in the accelerated world uh, storyline and basically aka if I was a kid I would like to have the thing where you basically were able to have the implant that let you work on computers while actually still like just touching stuff in air and you have a computer in your mind that you're basically working on um, number eight Hunter x Hunter I like Hunter x Hunter because, as I said before, anyone can be a hero. Um, I think I said that also in my worst, uh, the ones I wouldn't want to go to. My idea of a lot of these places are places that everyone has an equal chance of being a hero. Hunter x Hunter, anyone can be a champion. Um, you know, you have to have a special talent, but that doesn't mean that, you know, there's a low chance that you have in town. There was a lot of people that didn't have in town. But everybody has some kind of special quality, special thing that helps them to advance to where if I would be able to take the Hunter exam, I would be decent, I believe. I It would probably do for me to make the Hunter exam that Gone, Killua, and, uh, I mean, not, you yeah. know. And Leo did, but it's uh, and Kurapika, my favorite Kurapika. How can I forget him? But you know, it's this chance of everyone has the opportunity of actually being a hero. Number seven, fairy tale. Now, fairy tale to me, it's also you know you find the right teacher you'll learn spells from them and it's not all about to me dragon slayer magic it's like the dragon slayer magic in there is cool but the ice magic that you see everyone has their own particular magic that 
would uh be great. The one that I probably would like if I was in that world would probably be Elfman's. The ability to transform into different creatures. Um you know it there's no limit as long as that demon or creature that you turn to exists, you basically are able to turn to it. But the whole idea of everyone has magic, so it's somewhat like the Incredibles where since everyone has magical powers, that makes everyone special, which means in some way no one's special. It sounds depressing, but that's not the idea. Because everyone's special, it kind of like ups the ante to everyone else. Um, and it creates a way of everyone has to basically stay on guard somewhat. No Number six, Baki. Baki the Grappler. Um, whichever one you want to call it. Grappler, Baki, it's sort of the, it's the same thing. Baki is, Baki is all about fighting. And I enjoy a good fight every once in a while. Uh, I've, I've done boxing with friends and stuff like that. But I've never really been in what I would consider an actual fight. So, but in the Baki world, everyone is in... Well, basically, they show the underbelly of their world where fighting is basically everything. Everyone wants to be uh, either Baki or his father, Yujiro Hanma, because they are two of the greatest fighters in the world. So they're constantly being uh, fighting against people to basically show how strong they really are. So, to me, that's something that, uh, you know, I would like to be able to I probably wouldn't be in their league but the idea that anyone can try and challenge and you may lose and in some cases you may die but a lot of times it's just that you lose you might lose the ability to do things but at least you did something that you enjoyed doing number five full metal alchemist full metal alchemist is idea of just like the law of equivalent exchange it's basically it's bringing science to magic so like fairy tale anyone can be a uh, alchemist now it takes a lot of special people to become state alchemists but if you want to learn alchemy anyone can do that they can find them a book they'll show them how to do alchemy they'll do their work and train uh, like Alphonse and Edward were able to find a teacher that was able to teach them how to do alchemy and they worked on from that point um, and so it was just interesting to be able it would be interesting to be able to do alchemy um, like take one thing and be able to transform to something else like take all imagine like in our world we have the giant trash pile that we don't know what to do with equivalent change turn to something useful you know the whole idea of alchemy in that world in the idea that anyone can be able to use it I would enjoy being able to learn alchemy number four Naruto I don't have to be a part of the Konoha uh, Konoha village I wouldn't mind being with the Miso Kage the Kaze Kage or anyone though you know, the whole idea is anyone can learn ninjutsu. In fact, by the time I am now, I am probably off doing missions at this point. You know, you're a, basically all ninjas are leaders. You don't have to be, you can be a normal person. Or you can go ahead and decide to join the ninjas and go off and do missions to help promote peace in your part of the area. Sure, you may have fights against other na uh, other nations, but a lot of them, if you go later on to Naruto to Boruto, it's a lot more peaceful. And in some cases, some of the stuff in the, uh, even in early Naruto, was still peaceful. There were just some radicals like the uh, Hidden Sound tribe, and the uh, Hidden Sand had a small beef with people. But everyone else, it seemed to be a somewhat peaceful place um 
not really a lot of fight. You didn't learn a lot about the other nations until later on when we start getting to talking about Kage's. But, like I said before, it's the idea of anyone can is able to obtain these powers. Number three. Zoid New Century Zero. I love giant robots. Um, I really do love giant robots. And the whole idea behind Zoids, uh, the New Century Zero, is that basically if you have, if you had the money to buy a Zoid, you'll be able to get into a tournament and make more money off of it. And if you go with the idea of what happened in the beginning of the show, in the very first episode, Big Cloud was able to basically scrap his way into having a Zoid that he enjoyed. You know, and even though he never was able to make anything out of those parts, and he basically used it to take by other parts to do something else, and he discovered it. But the idea is that if you find somebody who's willing to endorse you because you seem to be a good fighter, you would probably be able to become a Zoid pilot. And sure, the world didn't seem, the world seems somewhat depressed because a lot of it's desert. But the whole idea of being able to drive a, like, fight in a giant robot, would I would have quite enjoyed. Number two. My Hero Academia. Now, in My Hero Academia, the whole point of My Hero Academia is that everyone has powers. But, like in reality, if everyone had powers, not everybody wants the responsibility of them. Like, there's only certain people that, like, because I have these powers, I have to be a hero to protect people from evil. Because, like in, I said with Fairy Tale and all the other ones on here, Everyone has the potential of having being good or being evil, but everyone has power. So, with your power, it's a question of what you want to do with it. And in my academia, a lot of people have done some very interesting stuff with their powers. Um, even if you go to talking about the hero Deku, Deku versus his mentor All Might. Is completely different. They're not the same fighting styles. While All Might takes on a more boxerist type tone, well, brawler type tone, um, Deku comes out with a little bit more, I want to say martial arts type way, possibly uh, forms of jujitsu in some cases, and um, karate, I would go with. So that gives him a little bit more. He takes a little bit more of a Eastern approach to what he does stuff while All Might does more of a more of a Western way of doing things. So in the way that but everyone even though they share a power, everyone else has somewhat of a different way of doing things and I always Wanted to be a hero, so yeah, my hero academia definitely. I would have been gone this school. And number one, Dragon Ball Z. And I had to think hard about this, you know. I do enjoy all those other worlds, and but there's something that keeps me going back to Dragon Ball Z as being my number one, and that's uh. I want to say the complete training of it all. Um, for a majority of their first lessons that you learn about is stuff that you could learn on Earth. Like, the World Martial Arts Tournament, as they put it, was basically shown everywhere. So that means that everyone would have known about Goku for years. Uh, people would have known about after the whole boot thing and after the fight with um after the I wouldn't say yeah after the fight with Boo after the sale tournament there would have been a lot of hype for 
these particular people are people questioning why in the world are these people able to fight on the same level yes we said that Hercule won both of them fights himself but what is about these people that were able to uh, fight at the same level as Hercule like they were able to fight with this sail creature for some time and Hercule you know they weren't as good as Hercule but they basically fought at the same caliber Hercule I, and I feel like in the same way I say like everyone else if I was I think you could probably find if you're willing to give him a nice bribe wink wink nudge nudge Master Roshi um give Master Roshi a good bribe he'd be willing to train you like we know he's done to everybody else um and even if you didn't get him to train you you have a professor named Gohan that I'm fairly sure people knew he was also in the World Martial Arts Tournament. Well, not World Martial Arts Tournament. He was a part of the Cell Games. And so, you know, with him having trained like that, I'm pretty sure that people might be willing to learn from any one of the Z Fighters how to fight. In fact, if I remember correctly, Tien was known to have a school to where he could train people on how to be fighters so the whole idea of being able to do a Kamehameha way fly um, increasing your strength in general like that sure is a lot of hard work but it'll be something that I think will be awesome to do and that's my 10 um, I, like I said these are all a lot of these are just because everyone has powers, it kind of puts sort of the Peter Parker way of thing, where great power comes great responsibility. So it's like, since everyone has power, everybody has responsibility to control their powers on a larger scale when it comes to the safety of the world. Some people use them uh, to save the world. Some people use it to destroy the world. It's all in the point of the way you use it. You know, if we go with the idea of um, Attack on Titan right now. You know, you have Titans that are willing to fight for us. We have Titans that are trying to destroy us. It's all, it's your power. You need to choose how you use it. Um, I thank y'all for listening. And... If you have any comments about any of these and disagree, please tell me. I'm happy to listen. And if you're willing to give me a person that a comic could fight in a, uh, from a comic could kill, uh, well, not a person from a comic could kill, but if you can give me someone for a comic to fight from that anime that I just said, please, um, please give me somebody. So, because I like doing these versus fights for y'all. And I have some other ones, but I want to see what y'all got. And I'll catch you later.